wife came up with this idea. She asked me when the, all the talk of global warming started. What happened if we put solar panels on the road and collected solar energy that way? And he just laughed at me. And, <laughs> and I kept thinking about that. I thought if we could build that, get the right people on board, we could make this a reality. So Solar Roadway is built of solar road panels, which are solar panels we can drive on. We've currently got about 28,000 square miles of asphalt and concrete surfaces exposed to the sun. Solar road panels will collect that energy, turn the sunlight into electricity, feed the grid. If it's a business parking lot, you're feeding the building. The first layer is the glass surface and solar cells inside that are collecting the power. We could produce three times more power than we use as a nation. That would eliminate the need for coal-fired power plant. This gas station stays open 24 hours a day. He says their monthly electric bill is $4,000. Well, you got a lot of surface area here in a parking lot. If you cover those with solar panels, we'll probably get rid of that. I love to see it. <laughs> First time it snows on the solar panels, they stop working. So we decided we'd have to put some kind of heating element in the surface. One of the things we want to do is put solar heated sidewalks to clear the snow so you don't have to do this, but also to generate electricity that can be fed back into your store. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Amtrak is very excited about this. So what they want is to ensure that the platforms are kept snow free, ice free. But we also can't paint road lines on top of the solar panel. So then we thought, why not put some LEDs to illuminate the lines? This would be like driving in a video game or on a runway. So if something walks out onto the road, that could be a deer, it could be a kid on a bike. The road's intelligent enough to warn that driver to slow down. In America, we lose about $165 billion a year in productivity from people stuck in traffic jams due to road maintenance. So we can very quickly come out and replace the damaged panels. I'm an electrical engineer, she's a counselor. We have no marketing skills at all. In the very beginning, about Half the people seem to think we're geniuses and half the people thought we're off our rockers. You would hear, you can't drive on glass. The first time it rains, you're gonna slip off. The hardness of glass actually falls between steel and stainless steel. It's not your window glass we're gonna build our parking lots and, and roads out of. Asphalt is petroleum based, so the cost of road construction has gone through the roof and they're looking for any kind of new paving material that can pay for itself, our system does. It would also create an infrastructure for electric vehicles. I can find a rest area, pull in there and recharge, and I now have the same range as an internal combustion engine. Would it generate enough electricity to be able to recharge vehicles? You got so much area here that's exposed to the sun. You know, we're not afraid to try something different. It would take about 5 billion 12 foot by 12 foot panels to cover the roads in the US. That's a lot of manufacturing. That's a lot of jobs. We should all care about our planet. We can't cure global warming just doing something in this country. What better way of rebuilding the world economy than making something that will also help the environment?